this better. There we go. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> so, um, welcome to it's, it's friends. Welcome to the Happy Hour of Horror podcast. My name is Maymay Graves. This is Amber. And for the next 20 minutes, yes, we are going way over on time. That is totally fine because it's my show and I have until 8.30. How are you doing? Y'all doing good? Yeah. Oh my God, the crowd's going wild. There, you can't see ah! this, but there's... <laughs> that sounds like a murder. <laughs> and, they, and they all died. <laughs> the great Charlie Star Lounge massacre. Well, 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 Amber. What was, uh, what, what, um, what's, what, what, how was, how was your past two months? It's been an interesting two months. I mean, it's just been hot as fuck. We've had a useful shit. We, I feel like we've gone to Fort Worth a lot, and I'm not Wait, the biggest fan of Fort Worth. Well, I just don't like the drive. I do, the, okay. The drive. Well, also, to be, to be fair, doing, doing drag in Fort Worth, we're mostly doing it on the outskirts of Fort Worth. Downtown Fort Worth. That... I remember, like, the, the, it was the night that I met Daphne Rio and not Maple Leaf. like a horror story. It was a dark and stormy night. You know, it was the night that I met Daphne Rio. We did, a, we did a show in Fort Worth at this place called V Nightclub. And I don't even know. I don't think it was open for more than two weeks. But we did it for one of those, like, Groupon drag shows. They pay, like, out the wazoo. For those, the guy who did Wait, it got like sued for group, embezzlement. But what? Like, legitimately, Groupon funded drag shows. Yeah, that's crazy. It dude. makes no sense. No, um, because you don't get money off of Groupon. Hey, Abby, yeah. can we get two shots of Fireball? Thanks. I lost Fair my voice. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, could be laryngitis. Oh, what, oh, what was that? Might be I, gonorrhea again. I thought it was your cool Miley vocal burn, vocal fry. A little vocal fry. I do love a vocal fry, but that also creates laryngitis for me. I did, um, <coughs> I was on mushrooms at Hurricane Harbor and I screamed once on a ride and I, I got off the ride sounding, ni sounding like Natasha Leone. and Bleach says that my Natasha Leone doesn't it doesn't sound like her but i think that it does um let us have it i'll let you guys, i'll let you guys in the audience be the judge but i th my my natasha leone hold on <laughs> i have to I have to get into care Just i need i need a lit cigarette um i was gonna say take it take a, <laughs> hit your vape. Yeah. Take a little puff of your vape. yeah i think that'll be, make it worse i'm trying not to do it too much today um, vaping isn't good for you, and I'll just say that out loud. Wow, what a moment. No, um, here, okay, here's my Natasha Leone. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're off to a great start. <laughs> uh, New York. You know, I saw a cockroach the size of a... <laughs> I sound like Joan Rivers, fuck. No, it's <laughs> New York. I saw a cockroach the size of a the size of a New York rat. The New York rat was the size of my left tit. What are you gonna do, New York? Uh. <laughs> she said impressions. What a concept. But also, I f I sound a little like Jennifer Tilly. Well, now you're going there. Um, here's to the podcast. Mm. But um. Get that out of frame. Gross. We have too many cords for that to be just sitting there. Hey, dude. No. Oh. No, um, Fucking my Jennifer, fireball. my Jennifer, t oh, I'm, let's see here. Wasn't that one of the ones you went viral for was your Coolidge? No, it was your Kelly Shoes one. But your Jennifer Coolidge one, I felt like that one did some numbers. My Jennifer Coolidge was really good. My Jennifer Tilly, I haven't done that yet, but I really want to do a good Jennifer Tilly. Like I'm just going to play, I'm just going to play poker. Your Coolidge was better known in uh, local circles. Local circles. My Jennifer Tilly, yeah, my, my, my Jennifer Coolidge, the, th the funny thing about that is... Nothing, but my my Jennifer Coolidge, I remember that was like the first time that anybody had seen me in like that little makeup, like a lot of people. And <coughs> I did, it might be gonorrhea, I keep coughing. Um, but <coughs> I did, I did my Jennifer Coolidge. Um, and one thing that is a problem for me, and maybe the schizophrenia might not be, who knows, maybe I'm just an idiot, but I went to Woody's afterwards, and whenever I drink and I'm on, like, 
I'm as a character. I can't escape that character. And so, and I went to Woody's the, uh, right after the show, and I kept walking by people going, hi, oh, hi. No, it got to the point where you would walk up to people and just immediately apologize and say, I'm sorry, I'm in character. No, I'm so I'm sorry. So, I'm so sorry, I'm <laughs> in character. Well, I'm Jennifer Coolidge tonight, and you know, I just, I got these chicken shit gigs, and I'm just <laughs> here. <laughs> and, and, and you know what, know give, what give it to Ryan Murphy. On. Give it up to and Ryan Murphy for all these chicken shit gigs that I had to do. Goes, and if you want to buy me a shot of Fireball, <laughs> I totally <laughs> no, and understand. That's, just, that's how I go back into me. But no, I walked by this guy that I may have coitus with on the regular at Woody's, and I walked by him, and I go, oh, hi. And I got him real close, and he didn't recognize that it was me because he turns around, looks at me dead in the eyes, and goes, go away. He thought that I was like a new drag queen because I had like very little makeup on. It was a Tuesday, and I wasn't getting paid that much. So To be fair, that day I was parked out front of your apartments waiting for you to come out, and you, you come out of the gate, <laughs> and I locked my door. I was like, who the <laughs> Oh, God, she's got a new car. neighbor. <laughs> Like, oh no, who is God, this? the gentrification like, here. Oh my God, I, I, like, I was genuinely shocked. That wig was amazing, just, though. It was human. And now she's blue. I know. But, um, oh, what was I about to say? Anyway, aliens. Oh my God. We were going to talk about aliens last month. The podcast got canceled for technical difficulties, but. My, I, I, it's so Now funny. no one's talking about aliens. The reaction has been so mo- polarized and so mixed. It's like between either, I don't care. Or pay me are, more money. Or, or are they going to pay my bills? Or can I fuck them? And, like, that's the overwhelming response I've seen. Like, they, they got titties or are they going to, like, help me with my housing? Otherwise, I don't care. And I just that's just so funny to me because, like, I, I think it's so interesting. I think it's so cool. Like, I've been, I've been following some of these whistleblowers for a minute. And, like, okay, my first biggest thing is, like, everyone, like, all these responses is, like, tell me you didn't watch the hearing without telling me you didn't watch the hearing. Government didn't own up to shit. It's the same old stuff. It's all these whistleblowers saying, we, we, the government does have this, but no one's owning up to anything. Like, it's still, it's still just finger pointing and trying to, like, get them to say something about it. And now the, the biggest thing is that it's on, like, congressional record, right? Which is huge. That's still great. But I'm I like... Mean, that's, it, it's a first. It's, it's better than... Um, what was that one video of, like, someone talking about, like, aliens and they wanted to be, like, whistleblowers about it? Like, back... Like during like Roswell times, <laughs> Bible times, you know, ancient times over six. You know, back years at, back ago. back in <laughs> Roswell, um, I, I, w- with the the whole like Roswell thing, um, there was like that whole thing where like essentially the government made like a huge mockery of it. There's this video of them being like, "Well, we caught the alien," and at this hearing and then like someone dressed in like a bad alien outfit like comes and walks out and like it, it, and dispels all the rumors because like no one's taking it seriously now they're at least like listening yeah. no and that's a big thing is yeah just getting out there but no that's funny you say that because that's one of my i love a good like a good bad conspiracy right so i'll like get trapped down rabbit holes every Avril now and then Avril Lavigne Avril Lavigne you mean Melissa Melissa Vandela uh, yeah the, the double uh, but yeah, that's one of them. Like, and you know who hates every time I bring that up? Blue. Blue Valentine. Blue yeah. Valentine. No, I know I do it to her all the time. time I say it because I, I think because she so does Avril Lavigne every day. And I'm like, oh my god, Melissa, you look so good. And she goes, mm. <laughs> no, Thanks. no. Uh, whenever I say that, she'll go, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't even get a response. She goes, mm. no. Um, mm. one of my other favorite ones is that you know, oh, uh, we get told the truth about stuff through like popular media and movies and shit like so things the, the things that are supposed to be so I like do, I outrageous. do I do hold on to that theory yeah because it's, it's interesting because sometimes you watch something you're like now hold on uh, because it's again the idea is supposed to be disseminated through popular media to like desensitize us to the idea that some of this out really outlandish maybe sci-fi kind of like uh, things that we don't paranormal things that we may not consider like active day-to-day things to just like to try to normalize it so that when it eventually comes out the, pu- the uh, public doesn't go into mass shock. Not only that. It's interesting. There's two there there's two things to this theory that I find very interesting. One is the I said get that off the table. With that being said, there Age are two things to that oh, shut up I'm trying to have a thought. With <laughs> with those two theories the media that is created 
that almost is a prerequisite of what the zeitgeist is of our society, of what we think is to come. So we have like, you know, movies years and years ago, fucking uh, Truman Show, and then like, and that was before reality TV, and then reality TV has this huge boom. Um, AI, a lot of AI movies, and then AI is a thing, because like our brain as a society, again, the zeitgeist, as a society, that brain says, this is something that I'm pretty sure that most of us feel is going to happen just with technology. And that's why I believe zombies are next. I just know oh, it. I am, I'm a big fan of the uh, zombie theory. At some point, <sighs> somehow, you know, and honestly, what I loved and what kind of uniquely, like, I, I not like scares and like a like a jump scare, but like what uniquely got me thinking about the fear of that was honestly The Last of Us and the things about like the fungal growth, the like things, the things that are actually real, able, right? When they could actually like survive temperatures, uh, the increasing temperatures because of the climate change and everything, and they actually found some of the shit that was like in the beginning of that story about how like there was like uh, what is it? Uh, um, I forget the name uh, of the name of the specific type of mushroom that was growing in flour. The and that's how the begin uh, yeah, cordyceps. 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 Yeah. And that's how the beginning of The Last of Us starts. It's like the cordyceps is growing in flour. People eat it. Okay, listen. We're talking science. And I don't know. I don't know shit about science. Why are we We're talking just science? idiots. <laughs> just a heads up. This we is no conspiracy theory podcast. We're just idiots talking about shit. The brain cell is in the car. Why the are brain, we, we love the brain cell in the car. It's, it's a hot car. It's the summer. She's so dying. <laughs> no, today but was a that brain cell can last longer than the cordyceps. Today so it was a cold snap. It was only in 95 degrees as opposed to 105 snap. degrees. That's why I'm, that's why I'm <laughs> let's no, hear it up for no, the, listen, I was for the happy cool I could, front in Texas. No, I was happy that I could just take my dog out at normal hours and I'm wearing wait until the sun's down. I'm wearing a whole sleeve today, you know? And all to say, I have an aunt. She's a flat earther. Um, haven't talked to her in years. Uh, she wrote an entry in her blog about me, and that was the end of me going to Christmas. But... She wait. What you can't just stop there. What was the blog about? Oh no! It, well, that's my favorite thing is that the blog was okay. <laughs> she had two followers. One was her daughter, and the other follower was my sister with a fake account. Was this like a live journal or something? Yes, it was a blog spot. And oh, continue. Um, and my sister would just like talk shit in the comments. The comment, um, but. My aunt, she posted, like, f it, it was after um, gay marriage was ratified. So that happened worldwide. Everybody heard about it. And then my aunt decided to, like, make a blog post. And it was about, um, she was like, well, you know, I have family members that are in that li lifestyle. And I just, I just know that they are lost to this satanic cabal that's after her, our children. I s and my favorite thing was right after she said that, I knew she was talking about me and my sister, and right after she said that, she posted a big picture, and it was the promo picture of RuPaul for season six of RuPaul's Drag Race, <laughs> and underneath it said, I've seen the future, and it is terrifying. <laughs> and I said, yeah, season seven. So <laughs> that was funny. Hold on, wait. Who was on season seven? Refresh me. I. Oh no! Great cast. That was Violet. Terrible. Season? Yeah, that was uh, Violet, Katya, Trixie. Okay. Yeah. They all. It was terrible. It's not memorable. But Pearl. Didn't, oh, Pearl. Did, you, did you see that shit with Pearl? Yes, recently? I did. Let's not. Let's not bring it up. Let's not bring it up. I'll We're keeping it light. Girl. We're keeping it light. Now back to conspiracy theories. Girl. Um, no, I. I <sighs> Melissa Vandela has taken over <laughs> Avril Lavigne's body. <laughs> so. Um, I think that, <laughs> that there's also there's been other like do you know of any other like replacement conspiracy theories because I feel like there's been a few where they're like so and well, so, so I mean because we know like the obvious with the, what was it like Ivanka and everyone's yeah, like well, that, there's that's also not really her there's also the um, I mean the obvious ones were like the royal family like the ones that have actually been proven of like the royal family having just like actors in those masks of Harry and Meghan Markle, like, before they... Was it Harry? I don't know. 
But like they're clearly in like those human doll masks, just like waving at a huge crowd from afar, but they can't get away with it now because everybody has a cell phone. Or speaking of human doll, when they had like Charles in those cars and he just looks like a full corpse, it's just like, <laughs> you know, she was dead long before they announced it. <laughs> my long before. That was my favorite thing is like they just wanted, the conspiracy theory originally started with, was, um, it's about trade, wasn't it? Well, like, it, this it is was going to disrupt well, trade or well, economy or something. Well, she definitely died, but it was before Christmas, and they were like, nah, "Let's get let's get them through the holidays." That's exactly <laughs> what they were so like. So they just weekend at Bernie's to the Queen. They, <laughs> they fully British, like, okay, well, we're British. Carry on, like, okay, well, we'll just we'll let them know afterwards. That's anyway, we don't want to ruin the holiday. On a lighter note, there's this guy. <laughs> there is this guy that. Um, I may have went to his house and he put me in his sling, but may have. Um, but he I was mean, masking his accent. Time. He was masking his accent for so long this throughout this whole situation. And beautiful, but he looked like Joey Tribbiani from Friends. Just beautiful smile, great teeth. You know, whenever like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I, said, I said that looking right at you. I'm so sorry. What's that mean? What's that mean, mate? Canceled. 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 No, um, now I'm on edge because I made that tooth comment. So, Abby hates me. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. She can say it. I'm cutting like half of this out. So, but but this guy. (laughs) Okay. Well, I don't notice it. Oh, sorry. You know what? Oh my God! You know what? Ev- everyone, line up! <laughs> line up! We're gonna have a. Uh, There's a riot at Charlie Star Lounge. You know oh my get, God! A, a, a whole line. Everyone, take up your beef with May. We're gonna. Be, we're gonna you be, know what? Leave your dental records. No, no, no! Hold on. I'm not. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. This is a riot. Um. <laughs> Can't. You fired. Uh, and the next, the next podcast starts with me going, hey guys, this year has had so many highs and so many lows. And then she, and then she pulls out the ukulele. <laughs> Just me with a ukulele. Um, anyway, here's Wonderwall. So, no, so anyway, anyway, let me finish. So, I said, where are you from? And this guy goes, <laughs> he goes, Long Island. <laughs> and... And then, Where and then I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Like he was a cartoon character. And then right after we had sex the second time, he tur- he turns over to me, and looks at me, and he goes, "Hey, so I'm about two months behind on rent. Tragedy. I got a brother who's down the street a few blocks. He's got a job. He's a mover. He's a mover. I need to take this job up." I got I to gotta move some stuff for him, get some money, help me with rent, um, but I don't have a car. So, um, could you drive me up the street, be a pal? And I said, after that, absolutely, that's entertainment. No, after you said me that, all I could think of was like, you know, like, M- mid act, and you're just you just say something to him, and he's like, just like, hey, I'm fucking here. Hey, hey, oh I'm God, fucking that's here. that is, it's borderline inappropriate. All right, you know. So, uh, cheers, take, take Abby. Us. Get over yeah. here. We have some questions for you in a segment we'd like to call Ask Abby. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, this is our bartender, Abby. She's very wonderful. She, uh, she runs Tuesdays with us over here at Charlie Star Lounge. This is sponsored by Charlie Star Lounge. Come here. Uh, Abraham Lincoln did blow, and I will tell you exactly where if you show up. All right. So her hair is full of secrets, so that's what we need to ask. Uh, we have one here from uh, Tania. Why are men? <laughs> I wish I knew the answer to that fucking question. I probably wouldn't be a bartender. I, I mean, if I had the answer, like, <laughs> I know, or just maybe like, I would. Who knows? Why are they like that? Why I don't know. That's so a good question. Do, do you do have an answer thing? for that? No, I don't either. No, she doesn't. Why I mean, I don't know. What do they say? The audacity. Yeah, That's gonna have the, the audacity. audacity. The, uh, the, the uh, I wish that I had the power of a mediocre white straight man. No. Yeah. I was gonna say, have you been to Charlie's yeah. after 9 p.m.? Absolutely. You know yeah. what? <laughs> Literally, nothing is so unchallenged. Literally, nothing is so unchallenged like the power of a mediocre white man. Absolutely. Just after, kidding, especially I love after a couple of drinks. Yeah, I just kidding. Out. I love all my customers. 
Uh, okay, uh, Prue had one Don't here. Don't fire me. <laughs> hey, Abby. How many fingers is enough? <laughs> That's a secret only you can find out. <gasps> oh, oh, girl, not me. You, you got someone else. To I do mean, that not for you, you, but who, whoever <laughs> asked the question. Yeah, She's I know. like, no, I know. Like, I know you don't oh, find out. <laughs> if he's from Long Island, no. Well, I, well, I know. She, I, well, how clean those fingers? Did he wash them first, or? Um, all right, we have someone else here. Uh, if you were a hot dog, what kind of hot dog would you be, and would you eat yourself? <laughs> First of all, yeah, I would definitely eat myself if I could. Um, she said, I know what I like. I like my hot dogs. <laughs> Lots of mustard and, like, burnt. Like, I boiled. It's fucking disgusting. You boil your hot oh, dogs. Oh, burnt. Okay. Sorry. Like a nice char on it. Yeah. Yeah, it needs yeah. to be charred. Boiled. I just think of the water that they're boiled do you, in. And do, it's you, do you like the bun? <laughs> Hold on. Last question before that. Would you try human meat? If you just had the... If you were presented the option, no consequence. Would you try it? Um, No consequence. Like... No, you won't what get sick from any of the weird shit that happens. You don't get I any would, of that. I wouldn't freak out. Oh no, I head. mean mentally, that's all you. That's okay, all you well, after. Right. I'm um, talking about like health effects. Like you're not gonna die from eating it. Uh, I mean, it you won't go to jail. Who prepares it? <laughs> how it's prepared? What part of the body? How's it I cooked? mean, <laughs> yeah. How is it cooked? That's what, fair. What, Gordon Ramsay. Like, would you like prefer like Gordon a steak? Gordon Ramsay yeah. is making yeah. any meal that you want out of your own human meat. You know, yeah, he does I'll a good beef. I mean, uh, he does a good beef Wellington. I mean, I've like eaten worse Wellington? things. I feel like. I mean, <laughs> would you do like a human Wellington? Is like a human Wellington? Yeah. Yeah. If there's enough. Like what is it? Cheese wrapped in, the in like pastry. It's like it's like it's like it's like so it's like the meat and a then it's like Spencer. a mushroom kind of sauce and then it's a puff pastry. Yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, yeah. honestly, would too. That sounds good. Like, I try it. Work. Try it. What? <laughs> as long as it's buttery as long enough. as it's buttery enough. Give it Slather up. and butter and let's eat her. Give it up for Abby. This is this was Ask Abby. Thank you, Abby. We finally Thank got a lengthy you. one. I feel like the first time we did this, we had one question. Yeah. yeah. And it was Spencer who answered it. Yeah. Thank you, Abby. I'll, I'll let you get back to your job. Sorry. Short I circuit. like, you know, whenever you just kind of like glaze over for a second. Yeah. No. Uh, yes, actually. You know, I. Uh, is, the, is the toddy actually hot? Yeah. Yeah. I have a water toilet. Okay, yeah, I'll have a hot toddy. With okay, I, I really do love that question. I, I do love to ask people that question, especially whenever I'm drunk at the bar and I'm working with people. What? So I mean, yeah. For well, you. To you, would you eat that? To, to you. Um. What? So. I I love I love putting up the scenario that, is there? Okay, if there is a scenario where you and some friends, were like, hey, if I lose a limb in a freak accident. All you have to do, first of all, that's my camera. First of all, what you do if you want any part of your body in any freak accident or anything, if you lose any part of your body in a hospital, all you have to do is say, for religious reasons, I gotta keep it. So, and they'll let you, huh? Yeah, um, and they, they can't ask questions. So, anyway, if you lose a limb in a freak accident, it's cured meat, it is processed, and you get to make a meal for your, for your friends that you made this with. What are you making out of your own human meat? How would it be prepared? Because I know you would. Because like who? Okay. It, it, that's the thing. In this bar, it's a yes from everybody. Usually I ask like in, you know, down like in the mainstream bars, I'll be like, yo, like, would you? But everybody here is like, oh yeah, just to say I, c I had human meat once. What an interesting thing, especially if it's ethically sourced. So how would you prepare yourself? Go. No, um, I think she was on something. Like I'd honestly do some like sort of like maybe uh, like slow cook roast kind of situation, get some nice like kind of pull apart meat, make some- uh, Cause especially if it's like a leg or something, that's really tough. So. I mean, I'm like, I'm, I'm probably spite. I'm probably spicy enough, but we'll add it to it. No, um, but no, like, I feel like we're probably, again, in, in, in the dubbing, I think human meat is, like, a very close consistency to pork. Yep. So I would think I handle That's the what same I you like pork and, like, a tough cut of pork because it's a limb. So you're probably thinking more muscly. I'm it's usually a limb, I yeah. I'm thinking this a lot. Well, that was the thing. Well, there was, uh, like, the only reason why I, I say would. that. See, that's, oh, well, that's what, thank you. And, uh, exactly. again, honestly, I... I would. I, I would try. If yeah. I ha if I had the opportunity to just try it, like, a not, this is Just isn't say like, that you yeah, did, bitch. I'm be like, 
Yeah, no, no, no I did it. I because, like, how many people have eaten their twin in the womb? Oh. Anyway. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. I, had some, I, w- I was born with some extra nipples, and, like, I'm pretty sure I... Like I was born with absent parents. So, um... <laughs> Oh, yeah, so, you know, and that so, you consumed them. Uh, being gay. Mine is, uh, thank you for asking. Uh, mine <laughs> would be, I would make a lovely ground spaghetti because I make a fantastic homemade Ooh, sauce. Kind of like a bolognese kind of sauce. Like yeah. a like, like slow cook. Yeah. Some good veggies. A lovely like, get like the a tomato sauce. No, I, I make my own tomato sauce. Puree okay. tomato okay. sauce. Oh. No, that sounds good. Bolognese, as and again, pork is great. Bolognese. Bolognese. <laughs> she uh, puts the yay in bolognese. Yeah. No, uh, uh, pork is great for that, too. So, yeah, no, that would, uh, I feel like that would work well. Fantastic. Well, I know. that has been Happy Hour of Horror, episode the two. Thank you very much. Cannibal cooking hour. I mean, happy hour of horror. <laughs> what? It's a cannibal cooking hour. I mean, <laughs> yeah. happy hour of horror. And no, next uh, week, we're going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a cooking show. So I know. We're, we're watching Wrong Turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it might be on here. So I'm going to figure out. Thank you it's very much, Amber. And um, have a great rest of your day if you're watching this on YouTube. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Okay, get out of here. Bye, bye, Charlie people.